Hello and welcome to the Daily Fisher Bible. I'm RB8. I thank you for your understanding and patience with yesterday's video and the fact that I delayed the timing of this video. I feel it is important to remember those who have died fighting on foreign ground. As we remember the dead, let us never forget those who live, those who still carry the scars of those wars, physically or mentally. It's Leviticus 25 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 25 You always said to Moses in Mount Sinai, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you come into the land which I give you, and the land shall keep a Sabbath to Yahweh, you shall sow your field six years, and you shall prune your vineyard six years and gather in its fruits. But in the seventh year there shall be a Sabbath of solemn rest of the land, a Sabbath to Yahweh. You shall not sow your field or prune your vineyard. What grows of itself in your harvest you shall not reap, and you shall not gather the grapes of your undressed vine. It shall be a year of solemn rest for the land. The Sabbath of the land shall be food for you, for yourself, for your servant, for your maid, for your hired servant, and for your stranger, who lives as a foreigner with you. For your livestock also, and also for the animals that are in your land, shall all its increase be for food. You shall count off seven Sabbaths of the year, seven times seven years, and there shall be to you the days of seven Sabbaths of years, even forty-nine years. Then you shall sound the loud trumpet on the tenth day of the seventh month, on the day of cleansing you shall sound the trumpet throughout all your land. You shall make the fifteenth year holy, and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee to you, and each of you shall return to his own property, and each of you shall return to his family. That fifteenth year shall be a jubilee to you, and this you shall not sow, neither reap that which grows of itself nor gather from the undressed vines, for it is a jubilee, it shall be holy to you. You shall eat of its increase out of the field. In this year of jubilee, each of you shall return to his property. If you sell anything to your neighbour, or buy from your neighbour, you shall not wrong one another. According to the number of years after the jubilee, you shall buy from your neighbour. According to the number of years of the crops, he shall sell to you. According to the length of years, you shall increase its price, and according to the shortness of the years, you shall diminish its price. For he is selling the number of the crops to you. You shall not wrong one another, but you shall fear your God, for I am Yahweh, your God. Therefore you shall do my laws, and keep my practices, and do them. And you shall dwell in the land in safety. The land shall yield its fruit, and you shall eat your fill, and dwell therein in safety. If you said, What shall we eat the seventh year? Behold, we will not show, nor gather in our increase, and I will command my blessing on you in the sixth year, and it shall bear fruit for the three years. You shall sow the eighth year, and eat of the fruits, the old store until the ninth year, until its fruits come in. You shall eat the old store. The land shall not be sold in perpetuity, for the land is mine. For you are strangers, and live as foreigners with me. In all the land of your possession, you shall grant a redemption for the land. If your brother becomes poor, and sells some of his possessions, then his kinsman, who is next to him, shall come, and redeem what his brother has sold. If a man has no one to redeem it, and he becomes prosperous and finds sufficient means to redeem it, then let him reckon the years since its sale, and restore the surplus to the man to whom he sold it and he shall return to his property. But if he isn't able to get it back for himself, then what he sold shall remain in the hand of him who bought it, unto the year of Jubilee. And in the Jubilee it shall be released, and he shall return to his property. If a man sells a dwelling house in a walled city, then he may redeem it within a whole year after it has been sold. For a full year he shall have the right of redemption. If it isn't redeemed within the space of a full year, in the house that is in the walled city, shall be made a permanent property to him who bought it, throughout his generations. 
it shall not be released in the Jubilee. But the houses of the villages which have no wall around them shall be accounted for with the fields of the country. They may be redeemed, and they shall be released in the Jubilee. Nevertheless, the cities of the Levites, the houses and the cities of their possession, the Levites may redeem at any time. The Levites may redeem the house that was sold, and the city of his possession, and it shall be released in the Jubilee. For the houses of the cities of the Levites are their possession among the children of Israel. But the field of the suburbs of their cities may not be sold, but is their permanent possession. If your brother has become poor, and his hand can't support himself among you, he shall uphold him. He shall live with you like an alien and a temporary resident. Take no interest from him or profit, but fear your God, that your brother may live among you. You shall not lend him your money at interest, or give him your food for profit. I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, to give you the land of Canaan, and to be your God. If your brother has grown poor among you, and sells himself to you, you shall not make him to serve as a slave. As a hired servant and as a temporary resident, he shall be with you. He shall serve with you until the year of Jubilee. And he shall go out from you, he and his children with him, and shall return to his own family, and to the possession of his fathers. For they are my servants, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as slaves. You shall not rule over him with harshness, but shall fear your God. As for your male and your female slaves, whom you may have, of the nations that are around you, from them you may buy male and female slaves. Moreover, of the children of the aliens who live among you, of them you may buy, and of their families who are with you, which they had conceived in your land, and they will be your property. You may make them an inheritance for your children after you, to hold for possession. Of them may you take your slaves forever, but of your brothers the children of Israel you shall not rule one over another with harshness. If an alien or temporary resident with you becomes rich, and your brother besides him has grown poor, and sells himself to the stranger or foreigner living among you, or to a member of the stranger's family, after he is sold, he may be redeemed. One of his brothers may redeem him, or his uncle, or his uncle's son, may redeem him, or anyone who is a close relative to him, of his family, may redeem him, or if he has grown rich, he may redeem himself. He shall reckon with him, who bought him, from the year that he sold himself to him, to the year of Jubilee. The price of his sale shall be according to the number of years. He shall be with him according to the time of a hired servant. If there are yet many years according to them, he shall give back the price of his redemption out of the money that he was bought for. If there remain but a few years to the year of Jubilee, then he shall reckon with him according to his years of service. He shall give back the price of his redemption. As a servant hired year by year, shall he be with him. He shall not rule with harshness over him in your sight. If he isn't redeemed by these means, then he shall be released in the year of Jubilee, he and his children with him. For to me the children of Israel are servants. They are my servants who I brought out of the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh your God.